Pro Wheel Shaver XT2 is a hand operated mini lathe designed for precisely truing Pinewood Derby car wheels. It is used in combination with the Pro Hub tool. First, use the Pro Hub tool and correctly size your wheels to make sure that they are going to work free and not bind as you turn them on the Pro Wheel Shaver XT2. If there is a fitment problem, use the Pro Hub tool as designed in its instructions and video to correctly square and true the hubs and flanges before you start this operation. First, we want to install the Pro Wheel Shaver onto the Pro Hub tool and set the depth of the tool to one half of an inch. And then lock it with the provided Allen wrench. Next, go through each wheel and try to identify the wheel with the largest amount of runout or the largest high spot on the wheel. This is the wheel we're going to start with. Once we've identified the wheel with the highest spot, gradually add depth by using the knob to bring the blade in until we're able to lightly touch the wheel with the blade and start to shave that high point off the wheel. You'll notice that the blade will hit, then miss. This is our starting point in our cut. Add a small amount and repeat. Hit and miss. This is the run out in the wheel that we are correcting making this a precise wheel. We want to start by doing all four wheels. Small amounts are what we're looking for as we use the tool. This prevents digging and helps the tool maintain a high accuracy level. After we've worked our way through the first four wheels, back to your first wheel again, add a small amount and continue the cut. You'll notice as the cut is made, our first step is to achieve roundness. In some spots the cut is all the way across. In some spots the cut is only on the edges and in some spots the tool doesn't even cut yet. This is identifying the lack of concentricity in the wheel. Again after a setting is made move to the next wheel. We're trying to work these wheels in stages so we can maintain all four wheels an identical size. Once we begin to establish roundness with the tool, move in brisk short strokes around the wheel. Once we've established that the wheel is round, the cuts will get lighter and fluffier as we close in on the final cuts. The goal is to still keep our outside diameter as large as possible of all four wheels, yet maintain a high accuracy and concentricity to the hub center of the wheel. Once you've reached your final setting and your final cut, the tool will stop cutting. 
gently remove that wheel and move to the next. Again, you will do these in stages four to five times sometimes depending on how far out of round your wheels are until you get the wheels perfectly round and smooth. Once you're completed the wheels should have a nice smooth straight cut all the way around and be ready to be put on the mandrel for finish polishing. Once we've completed the tread surface of all four wheels we now want to loosen the tool and readjust so we can use the edge of the blade to true the inner edge of the wheel where it will contact the guide strip on the track. This will ensure a smooth straight running wheel especially when used with a rail rider alignment configuration. At this point we want to take our ruler and we want to move this setting to one inch one sixteenth and relock the tool. Reinsert a fresh wheel. Bring our blade down so the edge of the blade which has a machine cutting edge on it is past the inner edge of the wheel and we true the inner edge of the wheel square to the tread face and perpendicular to our hub bore. Once this setting is established we can easily move wheel to wheel without making an additional adjustment. Once complete, DerbyWorks recommends use of the Pro Wheel Mandrel for holding the wheel that you've just completed. Use the mounting cone towards the face side of the wheel. Mount it in a drill and turn it at a slow speed using a fine sandpaper and a polishing compound to your liking to finish your tread face and inner edge of your wheel to prepare.